Dr. Gregory Hartley here. I have the pleasure to talk with Jazeel Murphy, one of Jamaica's best in terms of schoolboy. Back in the days when he came out of high school, he was considered one of the best. Um, have the pleasure to talk with him. Always wanted to talk to this young man, watch his progress over the years, and like everyone else, I too have questions that I would love to ask him, and I now have the chance to ask him this question. So, Jazeel, where yes. were you born? In Kingston. In Kingston. Grew up in Kingston? Yes. Grew up in Port Moy, uh, St. Catherine, out of my yard. Okay, what was life like, like for, for you growing up in Kingston? It, it was nice. It was, I enjoy myself. Their own friends, family, I love family, so I always their own families and so. Um, what high school did you attend? Oh, Bridgeport High. Oh, you I went to, to, Bridge... to I used to go to Bridgeport Infant to Bridgeport Primary to Bridgeport High. Okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so you are from Bridgeport, you you would say you from Bridgeport. Who... Okay. I'm waiting on Bridgeport College. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> you see, in, in 2009, yeah. Jazeel, you were considered one of the best printer coming out of high school for Jamaica. Um, the times that you did, I looked at some of your your races, and you were like a big man running against boys in terms of your execution and your focus and your dedication. <laughs> Why do you think you struggle to make the transition from high school amateur into the professional? That was a that, that is a, a good question. Um, at the time, I did never focus a lot. But no, so I was supposed to go out there and train hard and thing. But when I left from high school, I did still have the high school mentality. So mm. I used to just Think when we did high school, we just do some coach would give me more plyo and then stuff there and less running because he you knows say me not like run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I say, all right, I'm going to give you something that you're comfortable because he knows me at speed, but he knows me weak. So I do most is do strength work and strength me and stuff. So that's why. So when I left high school and come to the big league, you know the big boys them. It be very hard because me never have nobody for really guide me to say, oh, Murphy, this I got be this and this I got do, and this I got happen. So I just say, oh, me never know to, you know, it's too late and things. I just say, okay, just never take it so serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what were some additional challenges that you are faced with? Yes, you didn't get that in terms of guidance, someone. Mm -hmm. um, sharing with you what to expect so you were you were thrown i don't want to say to the wolves but but you were yeah. you did not have the experience and you found that experience, you made yeah. a lot of mistakes along the way what are some of the the mistakes would you say that that you think caused you not to to mature into that successful professional athlete that you wanted to become because um, when I just left from high school, because we left from high school, we automatically we live at a, a house, pay rent, pay water, and all that stuff. So I never have that responsibility. So when I come, I have money, me I say, yes, I have money. I can do this, I can do that, I can enjoy myself, and thing, because when I at high school, I never have it. So when you get a little money, I say, I'm a big man now. When I enjoy myself, and things so that's why so we never get the time for you know somebody sit down and say yo murphy come let me do this budget this or uh, help you with this and show you some way say yo you can do this and get that this um ready and all and stuff yeah so i really and that's why because i never have the guidance and the guidance really kill me still okay and and that makes sense that makes sense mm -hmm. um you trained with racers track club and you are mm -hmm. now with the titans what's the difference if you have to compare the two 
in terms of what you were getting over at racers and what you're getting now? What would you say the main difference is? Titans, it, it is a great chat club. Uh, is that teaming from racers invite me? Mm-hmm. That is, you and Blake call me. So you must say, now I know chat club. I mean, I invite him. I say, you really want to invite me? A fat man like me. He <laughs> say, well, I laugh. I say, him say, oh, him believe in me. In Billy say, oh, me can make an epic comeback. So I said, all right. Me just try. I'm just come and reach a real Titans. Titans is like a family. Me not tell like the coach will work as a team. Mm-hmm. If, they, if you have a problem, you can talk to them. The team will work. Even if we we'll see the team ain't done, we try we we'll try to push them, we we'll try to motivate them, we we'll try to tell them, say, yo. We can, you can do it. If yeah. I can do it, you can. I so we, so Titans just, I'm not going to lie, enjoy myself at Titans. We are enjoy myself. Even this morning, we enjoy training. It's hard, but we enjoy it. And we motivate for one another. That is one team with Titans. Yes. Titans International. Last year, yes. you, you ran a PR. Yeah. And I saw the videos and I saw how emotional you were yeah, after man. the race. Talk to me. Tell us why you were so emotional and tell us how did that boost your confidence for 2022? I tell you, like, when I was training, I the same way I used to have injury. I did have some injury coming on every time and I was like, I start feel demotivated. But me see, that is, that's what I said. The, fam- the family, Titans family, them dead there. Them say, oh, Murphy, you can do it. Blake taught to me. Means he taught to me. Bailey Cole. Them always say, Murphy, we believe in you. Don't give up. Don't give up. And I say, yeah, I never give up. I never give up. To me, just train hard. I continue to when I, when I get the chance, I try as and run. I never do well in the hundred, but I do, I'm not telling them, I do pump. Because... A long time ago, we were at the big, um, the state, the national stadium, you know, and big league, big competition. So I feel pumped and never do well in the 100. So I work on the 200, run a PB, run a faster time in the 200. So my teammates say, hey, coach him say, hey, you think you have more in here? I say, I don't know if you have more in here, I mean, coach. And I can say, hey, I think you have more. So I say, okay. So then find that meat over there and say, yo, Jazzy, you get to the meat. Why you go over there and do your best? I mean, know you're going to do your best. I'm going to go over there and run. And the system run 10 one. I say, oh, I say, all of my years, I never, I know say, I could have run fast, but I never know say, it would have come. Like, no, like, it's so, I saw a friend, my friend, like, whoa. I say, in the east, I win. In the East, I win and I win 10 1. And I say, I can't go, I start get more motivated, say, oh, I can run faster. And to run, the, run it back, run back again, I run 10 1 5. And I say, I feel like I can run fast in the 200. And team and they say, yeah, man, yeah, I believe in you, yo. But tell us, say, you can't do it. I just did this little cool motivation you need. Yeah. And I go to run 20.4. That's why this year, I'm telling you the truth. This year, I'm going, I'm going big, going big and go home. Yeah, man. And this you deserve it. You, you put in the work, yes. Murphy, and you deserve, deserve it. it. <laughs> how, how much of your success now, last year, do you think, hmm? how much of your success now, do you think it's mindset? This year, is, I can just uh, say, this year, the mindset gets stronger. More, more drive now. They're on these guys, you and Blake. But every day, he calls me and say, "Yo, you can't do more, you know." I'm sometimes not tell them. Sometimes I want to give up. Train too hard. Yeah. <laughs> but we still, if we see one of us down and say, "Hey, let's go," you can't do this. And thing. So this year, I'm gonna tell you, last year was good, but this year I think it's gonna be greater, and I'm going to enjoy it. Yes. Have more fun. <laughs> if you had to measure your discipline and your dedication, your and your and your focus to five years ago, how would you mm-hmm. compare the two? 
five years ago well, to now? Five years ago, it was five years deep, really, really down. Because I never knew what to do five years ago. Because I was just, I was training, but I never was doing nothing at all. Just nothing. So this year, no, we just we feel better. We feel, we feel comfortable where I'm at. Yeah. That is the thing. I feel comfortable around them. Mikey working on my start. Michael Freiter working on my start. Gregory working on my fitness. And yeah, so I feel better. And you can see it. In the tree, in the running them, you can see, say, I feel happy. I look sad. I always smiling. Feel happy how I run because the coach, him, Try to work with me, even when the NC say, me I feel P and them try to say, all right, Murphy, take your time. Um, try do something, just, then try to show me some way if we can get it strong. And so, so uh, I feel better. And, and mm-hmm. that is good. I am happy because mm-hmm. I, I truly believe that a major part of one's success in anything, track mm-hmm. and field or in, in any other career, is mindset mm-hmm. and motivation. And you're getting the motivation yeah. and it is changing your mindset. What yes, is the most man. important lesson would you say you have learned coming up from high school, going straight into the pros to where you are now? Yes, I always tell people this. If you don't believe in yourself, people are not going to believe in you. So you have to believe in your own self that so you can do it. And you, you can surpass yourself. You can surpass everybody. Everybody train. Just like you. Maybe then train lighter and sometimes then train harder. But same time, same blood, same sweat come out, everything. So, yes, just enjoy. Just enjoy yourself. Yeah, you can't upset otherwise. Just enjoy your life. That is the most thing I always say to people. They enjoy the training, enjoy everything. Because when things start happening to you, it happened, it's just rushing, like uh, high school. Rushing for me, I mean, never know what to do. So, the big league, stay disciplined. Always stay disciplined. Listen to the coach and go home. You need to do your homework. That means you go home and do your little homework. If you have a problem with your, with your hubs or your, your start, you go home and do the little extra things. Read up. Watch YouTube. Do something for try to make yourself get have a little edge over everybody. Definitely. Well said. Well mm-hmm. said. If you had to give a young athlete coming out of high school and going straight into the pros some advice, what advice would you give them based on your own lived experience? Ah, that's what I forgot to tell you because I never learned to reach up here. Let's say, if you want good, you know that you run. So you have to just put in the work. Just put in the work. Just enjoy it and just put in the work. Because when you put in the work and you know say you put in the work there, you're going to see a whole heap of blessing. You're going to see all type of blessing coming and all type of things start rushing. So, just put in the work. Discipline. Stay disciplined. Stay humble. Don't because you do something great at high school, you're going to think say, oh, you're going to do the same thing um, bigly. Because sometimes you left from. Um, High school and come to big league, yeah, different. Training harder, and you have to be disciplined. If you can know what to do, you have to mentally strong. Cause if you're not mentally strong, you always are gonna feel down. You always are gonna feel like say, oh, you can't, you can't do it because what happened? You used to do some things at high school, but you never do it at, you know, big league. So when you see some new things, you have to try your best to try and master it. If you can't master it, find a way that you can do something that you can master it a different way. Makes sense. Mm. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Looking back at your own life and your own career, coming out of high school to now, is there any regrets that you have? No regrets, because it, it's a learning process. In life, it's just a learning process. You can always have a good day. Uh, you have a good day, you have a bad day. So it's just a learning process. You just have to just learn. Go through the day. If you if you not do well last year, you try to go back on the giant board and come back greater next year. I know. So, I know. I may ask you the question, but I will ask you again. So, what would you say, summarizing everything, the most important lesson 
you have learned from <laughs> running fast in high school to where you are now? Uh, I have an answer for that still. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's <a> rough. <laughs> that's a rough to answer. <laughs> I have an answer for that. Still. You see, the reason why I asked you that question, you know, <laughs> because yeah, some high school has come in now. Yeah. yeah, the high school has come in, and I remember I was doing a a, a, a seminar thing with uh, Bruce James, and he was yeah, yeah. telling some of the high school at least that look. You guys think said easy now coming out of high school to come into the big pros, but mm. it's, it's very difficult, very difficult. Mm. And, I, and while he was talking, I was observing them and I realized that they weren't taking him serious based on what yeah, he was saying. Oh, you yeah, have understand, sir. Every, everybody different now, every human different. So they remember, say, if some, some star athlete has one and say, Mm, you can't talk all the way because my sister may run fast, faster than some club man already. So, me good. So, that's why. So, no, some of these young youth, them, they know, they just are, so most of them just running. You know, just run. Because then, she said, them always like, get things. They never work too hard to get what they want, you know? Yeah. So, them yeah. people just like, give, give, give. But they never work for it. So and that's why. So no for them even what they may have talked to and see him some athlete at um Bridgeport. Then just I do it for fun. Then just I do it. Because they just feel like say, I just wanna do something. But then I see the benefit out of it. Yeah. It can change your life, it can change you can do a lot for your family, you can do a lot for yourself. You can you can remember when I when me the young, me that say I want, I want, no awful, I want to go up on a plane. Every time a plane fly past me, I say, I wish one day I can make it and go up on a plane and go to other country. And that is one of my goals. I say, I want that. And to me, see myself go to Miami and go to different places and meet other new people, me go to different countries. Yeah. So some, some of them do have a goal. They just want to do it. Because people are push them to do it. Some sometimes you force an athlete. Some athlete you have to force them to do what you what they want. You know. Yes. But you think they can do? Well, I hope you will continue to be an ambassador still and continue to go to the different high school when you have the time. I know you have to focus on your own life yeah, man, and career. <laughs> uh, so, but at the end of the day, sometimes you <clears throat> just like how someone can say something to you and have a positive impact. We can yeah. do the same. Is there anything else you would like the world to know about Jasmine yes. Murphy? Mm-mm. You can <laughs> come to me and talk. I'm not hype. You can, <laughs> you can come talk to me. If you see me, you can come talk to me. I'm not going to say no to you. I'm not going to say excuse or so. If, if you see me, you just talk to me. I'm yeah. not going to problem with the talk. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it is a pleasure talking to you, my brother. I appreciate you, you taking too. your time. And I wish yeah. you all the best with your club titans. I must commend them for all they have been doing for people like you and me yeah, and yeah. Blake and many others. So thank you very much, sir, for taking the time. Thank you very much for this interview. My pleasure, sir. <laughs> my yeah, pleasure. Man, enjoy the day. All right. Well, good, my brother. You too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right.